That's the power I got on the baby. What's her name? Abigail. Abigail, that's the power I got on the baby. Just um, forget about feelings. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. Okay? That's the power I got on the baby. God going through the eardrums. Oh, thank you, Lord. Amen. You can go. Uh, you can get some more prayer with the prayer helpers. I think the baby's okay. Um, she was basically born deaf. Uh, we had the the birth hearing test done, and they told us she couldn't hear a thing. Um, then we had more specialists, two more specialists, tell us that she couldn't hear at all. And uh, with all their brainwave tests and everything, they said she, she's deaf. She needs cochlear implants. And so we were supposed to take her on a Monday to Lubbock and get cochlear implants. And uh, we took her to church and our pastor had told Mike that he wanted to pray over Abigail and um, have the elders pray over her too. Well, he ended up inviting anybody in the church who wanted, who wanted to uh, pray over her to come up. And almost all of the church walked up and put their hands over her and prayed on her. And the next day in Lubbock, they told us she doesn't need cochlear implants, she can hear. And praise God. He, praise God, major. But she wasn't hearing all the way. She still had severe hearing loss. Um, she could only hear very low, loud tones like a jet or a lawnmower. And uh, they said there was only a 50% chance that she could gain back all of her hearing. Other 50% chance she has to wear hearing aids her whole life. And well, <laughs> when she reached about four months, she started pulling the hearing aids out. She ripped one in half. And then she tried to eat the other one. <laughs> Maybe that was prophetic. <laughs> <laughs> she hated them. And like, she has not worn her hearing aids. And she is not really receptive. She had not been receptive at all to us saying anything to her, calling her name. Very rarely did she uh, move her head when we said Abigail. But sometimes she did. And uh, then last night, uh, God prayed on her. And you prayed over her. And, uh, and healed like, her. Like I said, uh, I think Jesus was praying for her last right. night. Amen. Amen. Yeah, the whole ministry is about Jesus, the healer. Um, well, anyway, you prayed on her and Jesus prayed over her. And uh, I just, long, to be honest, I was a skeptic yesterday uh, before I came here. I did not believe, I thought, I did believe in the power of healing. I did not believe that people could be knocked out by the Holy Spirit until you prayed over me before we started last night. You mean Jesus prayed for you too? Right. <laughs> and I was knocked backwards by, I don't, by the Holy Spirit. I can't explain it any other way because I've never felt anything like that before. Amen. And uh, So you're saying you're no longer a skeptic? No, I'm no longer a skeptic. <laughs> And, uh, so anyway, just we'll go back to you in a moment. Sorry. So, um, so what happened to little Abigail? Well, I felt a warmthness come over her, and uh, she just she started stirring every time she she you were praying. She started stirring, and uh, we went back to our seats, and uh, she started moving around, started moving around, and uh, she woke up, and uh, she was looking around like she heard something, and she did her usual shriek, and she kind of jumped when she did the shriek like she'd heard it which she doesn't usually do i jumped usually and uh and she just uh, during the night when we got home i said abigail and she turned her head and it wasn't loud i wasn't shouting in her ear i was you know i had her a little bit away from me and she turned her head like she heard me and then all day to day we were saying abigail come here or my husband would tell her to come here and she would turn towards him like she heard him and she was coming to get him oh, praise <laughs> god huh but when i was uh you were showing me the abigail just before the meeting i said something and she turned and looked at me you know yes, she did and i wasn't yelling or anything you know yes sir Come and talk to us, Mike. Yeah. yeah. So, Mike, just stand here. Yeah, Mike. Uh, what do you think about this? I think I think it's a miracle from God, and that's what I that's what I was trusting in, and that's the reason that we're here today, is mm -hmm. because I know that that God's still in the miracle business, and um, 
I'm here his to see His name you. is Jesus, huh? Well, his name is Jesus, Amen. absolutely. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. So tell us, uh, you know, Abigail was, Abigail was born deaf. She had some improvement after prayer the first time for church. What was your walk of faith towards this point? Well, I, I can, I've been in continual prayer, prayer because I know for a fact that, that God's going to heal her completely. And um, so that's what you were thinking. That's, that's what I was thinking the whole time. Um, as, as I walk under the speakers back there with her a while ago, um, she started hitting her head when, as it got louder. She was actually <laughs> doing this like something's that's hurting, you know, I mean, and then started pounding her head into me. And I, I, I originally <laughs> thought that that was a temper. temper issue, but I'm not so certain that that's not, hey, that's hurting my ears, you mm. know, and that's her way of saying so. Maybe there's a mum there with a, a kid with a problem, a child with a problem. What spiritual advice would you give her? Trust Jesus and pray. Just look at the camera, yeah. <laughs> Trust Jesus and pray to God and ask Him for healing. Amen. He is the Almighty God. Amen. Amen.